Hi y'all, it's me. I'm back this week to do the challenge drawing number 58 for myscraproom.ning.com. I'll put that link down below for you. For those who are new to my channel and don't know, it's my Ning site. We have a forum, a chat room. We have monthly swaps on the 21st day of each month. We have guest swap hostesses who uh, bring us some wonderful um, swaps to participate in. We have a photo gallery and we have videos and all of that. So it's free to join. Come join us. If you'd like to join a challenge, you need to be an active member for 30 days before you're eligible to win a prize. This week, the ladies had to, and gentlemen, had to create this file box. And I gave them the instructions how to do it. And um, it's used to store recipes or whatever you want to put in there. Mine's all wonky right now because I've been traveling it around. Anyhow, um, that's what they had to create. You can see their entries over at my scrap room. If you click on Genus Challenges tab up top and look for Challenge 58, you will see it there. Following this video, I'm going to have the next challenge 59 as well as the tutorial so keep your eye out for that as soon as the drawing is finished this is what this week's winner will win they're getting um, some rubbons from autumn leaves they're getting some basic gray chipboard shapes a chipboard book from Colorbox, some envelopes and gatefold envelopes and cards um, or gatefold cards and envelopes <laughs> And some of my favorite tape ever. Um, and two sets of stamps that were donated from Fred. Thank you, Fred. So that will be the prize for the winner this week. I had a small amount of entries, which makes me sad, but it's better luck for you all who enter. So good luck, ladies. And this time I say ladies, because that's who entered. <laughs> and we'll see who this week's winner is. I've got the one right here. And this week's winner is Jenny. Yay, Jenny, congratulations. You are this week's winner. Um, I'll be in touch with you or you be in touch with me, one or the other. <laughs> congratulations. Okay, so this is um, going to stop here. I will see you all in just a few seconds with the next challenge and tutorial. Hi y'all, it's me. So as I mentioned in the first part of the video, this is pre-recorded. I did that so it would save me some time um, later on when I have to post the winning video and all of that. It just takes too long. So let me show you what the prize for this week will be. You'll be receiving these Recollections cards in cream. There's 25 cards and envelopes. You'll be receiving, oh gosh, sorry, I had to record this again because I got um, a phone call in the middle. Um, you'll be receiving this large piece of lace that I am sharing with you. I got from Candy, so it's really pretty. See that? It's really pretty. So you'll be receiving that. You will be receiving this piece of really soft plastic doily lace that I purchased at Daiso. I'm going to give you a piece of that. You can cut them apart and use them that way. You'll be receiving some of these really pretty fabrics that, um, little pieces of fabrics from my stash that I love, like in the shabby kind of colors and patterns. Sorry, I thought my camera was more really pretty. And I'll show you why you're getting these in a minute. So you have those there. Uh, you'll be receiving this pretty trim right here. This one here. Sparkly and pink and white. Really nice. This is a white iridescent kind of trim. Really sparkly. Um, there's this beige one here, like a braided, braided trim, really pretty. And then you'll be receiving a couple of pieces of cream eyelet that I got from my friend Hulud. You'll be receiving this piece of satin 
trim from Martha Stewart. It's gorgeous, really pretty. That. We'll be receiving a roll of this blue heart trim. You'll be receiving some of this baby white flat back pearls. They're really pretty and they're tiny and really cute. You'll be receiving this pink leaf trim. You'll be receiving these blue flowers here. They're paper, and these are paper as well, cream, and they're lovely. Be getting those. We'll be receiving these ribbon roses in pink and cream. They're cute. Give me a second, now I gotta pick up all the little stuff. <laughs> You'll be receiving some of these goodies that I got on a trip downtown. I got those for you there. You'll be receiving a few of these buttons I've gotten from my friend Eva when she sent, uh, gave me the large um, jar of buttons, so I'll put those in there for you. be receiving these little doodads here and these big ones um, you can put these pearls in the, in the center like that and then there's some little sparkly things in here for you there so you get those and then you will be getting these charms here which are metal and there's a hat, a dress, a hanger, and a Victorian boot shoe. And then you'll be receiving these which are plastic and they are acrylic actually I guess and they have little tiny loops in them and they're, they're high heels so those are little ones and these are bigger. You can see better the, sorry, the loop here. You can dangle those off of something. And then the reason I picked this fabric back here that I mentioned is because I'm throwing in this package this rubbernecker rubber stamp, and she's gorgeous. She's one of my favorites, and if you love to paper piece, she's perfect for it. Now I'm going to show you a couple of things that I did really quickly. I did this one where I just stamped her on muslin, and I it's wrinkled because I've had it in a box or something. I wasn't using it. I was just playing. So I stamped her on here and then I just colored her with colored pencils and I, the dots were with um, fabric paint. So that was really easy. And then for that fabric, I paper pieced her. So I stamped the parts of her dress onto the fabric and then I cut it out and glued it onto a stamped image of her that I had just colored in with skin tone. So that's to give you an idea of what you can do with her. So there's the prize package. Now let me get to the actual challenge, which, hold on, I'm going to try to do this without dropping half of it on the floor. Get it out of my workspace, which I did drop some on the floor, but I will get it for you. And what we are going to do now, please forgive me, this one is not embellished or decorated because... I've had to work all weekend and I just haven't had the chance. I didn't even have a challenge ready, so I had to rush to do one. We're going to be making this drawer box. And I saw this on YouTube and I will put the link to the actual video on my scrap room. And again, that link is down below. And basically what this is, it's just a little drawer that you can put things in. Now, um, decorate it up. These are really cute and useful. You could actually uh, make several of them and stack them together so you have a little tower of drawers. Um, mine I'm going to show you is made out of chipboard. The video shows you one made out of cardstock. You can do 
either one you choose um, if you do the cardstock you know of course there's going to be other requirements I'm basically showing you how to construct the box on her version on the video she has a handle pull on the drawer and a notched out area you can do that I'm not going to tell you how to decorate them I'm going to give you the requirements and then you can go from there so this is pretty simple to put together so uh, let me go ahead and show you I've kind of rushed ahead with some steps not to um, prolong this whole thing so I used to start with I started with three eight and a half by eleven pieces of cardstock um, chipboard rather you can use cardstock as I said so one piece is going to be cut at eight and a half by seven inches the next piece is going to be cut at nine and three sixteenths by six and three sixteenths and I am calling this piece B and that will come into play in just a moment and the last piece you're going to need is nine and one sixteenth by six and one sixteenth and this is part A so please when you cut these pieces be sure to label them with part A or B use a pencil so you won't see it or whatever until you, you know what you're doing so um, those are the three pieces that you'll need to work with now I'm going to start with the one that's not A or B that would be the eight and a half by seven you're going to need to score this whoops be help if I put it the right way <laughs> one quarter one and a quarter inch on all four sides so I've gone ahead and done that part for you don't pay attention to the red just yet give me a minute to show you what we're doing and then I will get to that for you so let me grab my scoreboard okay now I'm going to show you this piece I've gone ahead and pre-scored it a quarter inch on all sides and then what I want you to do is I want you to take your time, please, and just use, if you're using chipboard especially, really make sure you get your score lines folded first before any cuts are made. It's just easier to score it that way um, and fold it. So the next thing we're going to be doing with this piece is everywhere there's a red mark, we're going to be cutting. So I'm going to go ahead and do that with you now. And I hope I stay on camera. Forgive me if I fall off for a minute. Just there and there. Flip it around. And here and here. Now as you can see, this is the outside of the box drawer. This is the drawer piece you're making. So this is the outside piece. And I have put tape in four corners. When you remove your tape I'll go ahead and do that on I'm gonna do that on all four pieces just to speed things up just a second here these tabs will go towards the inside of your box so you want those to go in and you just want to line up all those pieces um, that you've uh, the tabs that you've made by adhering them to the inside of the box drawer so that's the first part. Of course, take your time with this. I'm rushing because I'm trying to get it filmed in less time as possible. So now you have this part and you can set it aside. I would suggest covering all these be with pattern paper before you do all of this to save you heartache afterward. Um, so be sure and do that. Now we'll go to, uh, let's do piece A. I think this is my A. Okay, this is piece A. Now I've gone ahead and I've scored this one one and a half inches on three sides. Again, you want to fold your score lines and you want to be sure they're nice and crisp. Now this one is the outside. This is the underside. On this one, you're going to make sure when you cut your tabs, as I showed you in the red marks here, up here on the long side, I'm going to go ahead and cut those in. Now these, this time you're going to put the tape on the underside, and these tabs you want to go outside, not inside. And if you put them on the inside, they're going to interfere with the flow of the drawer. So you want to make sure those pieces go towards the outside of your little half box you're making here. 
So you'll go ahead and do that next outside. She does it differently on her, her video, so that's why I'm showing you. I, that was just a problem I ran into, was that the drawer kept hitting it when these tabs were on the inside. So keep them on the outside. On this piece A. Only on piece A, okay? So now we're going to go to piece B. Piece B, I've gone ahead and folded and scored and everything else. This is the outside, and I have my tape here on the outside. We're going to be cutting those two areas on the long side again and these you want to put on the inside these will be going inside but on the other underside you want to add some tape here in these two short tabs so you have tape on the back of this and on the front of this I'm going to go ahead and remove just the little tabs first do not remove those other pieces just yet let me see if I can get this off of here. Nope. Doesn't want to cooperate, of course. Okay, remember, these are going in side, not outside. And again, I, I su strongly suggest covering your pattern paper first if, you're, if that's what you're doing. So now you have where that two side panels have the tape. You need to put a piece off of, of here's one that fell you need to put a piece of tape at the back wall as well. I didn't do it first because it would have been covered by the tabs. So now you want to go ahead and remove the adhesive from the three sides of part B. If I can get these off. Hello. <laughs> three parts B. Now you're going to simply insert Part A, whoops, part A with the opening the bottom openings facing one another, and you're going to insert them into one e another, and you're going to be sure to make sure the sides are even, and then you need to go and press down all the three sides that you have there. I suggest um, sticking your hand down in there and pressing that bottom down in there as well. And basically, you have now completed your drawer and the reason those tabs on B went underside is so you don't have any extra bumps out here and that does not affect the drawer opening and closing so there you have the drawer now it does leave a gap don't worry about that it's the way it is when you make them um, but it's it's fine once it's embellished and everything they're cute so see now I have two so I could actually keep going as high as I wanted these would be cute to store small items on your desk or anything. So it's really cute. So good luck with it. Have fun. Congratulations again to this week's winner. And don't forget to read all the other requirements over at myscraproom.ning. See you there. Bye.